Hey everyone, this is Charmaine from Fantastic Crafts. I hope all of you are having a wonderful Monday. Today we're going to be creating a card called the Impossible Card, which I'm very confused by because it is really not impossible. It is super easy to create this card. I know a lot of crafters have been creating it, including Mei Mei, and I decided to give it a try and I fell in love with it just like everyone else. So we start with a A2 size card. So that is a four and a half by five, uh, four and a quarter, sorry, by five and a half piece of cardstock. So I just used any kind of cardstock. You kind of want to use a sturdier cardstock for this uh, because this is going to be the base of your card. So once I had that completed, I took it on the horizontal side, which is the four and a quarter side, and I scored that at two and one eighth. Then I actually flipped it around to the let's see the five and a half side and i just scored at um one inch from each side so i just did it one inch and i went to that uh, first score line that we created then i just flipped the paper over to create another one inch <laughs> this is the easiest uh, way for me to do it so i just kind of did it that way and then i flipped the paper over once again and pretty much scored halfway which was two and um three fourths of um and then i went to that score line once again that halfway mark that we created it is super easy i have a um template that i have on the left there and it just shows you how to do this once i was done with my score marks all i did was i took my little scissors and i just snipped at that little center line and then i took it onto um, the other corners and i also snipped those one inch score lines that we created on both sides so i snipped that and also on the other side and to create this impossible card this look that is it's this really difficult <laughs> card all i did was i just took my little uh, card base here and i simply just flipped one side <laughs> that is all you do and that creates it now you do want to make sure you um, crease your little score lines very well because then that gives um you're able to keep the score lines uh, nicely done and crisp so it doesn't kind of you know bend out of um, shape so that is all that's how you create this impossible <laughs> card now to create my matte pieces all i did was i just scored a few of these um extra ones just so i had it in my stash and i knew exactly what to do with it and i just cut it apart that's how i created my mat i thought that was the easiest way so i just cut out the score lines and it created my little mats i wanted to create this card and uh, make it a little special <laughs> actually very special so i used this paper pack sweet nothings and it's a really pretty paper pack it has some gorgeous um background paper and cards it's just really pretty this one that i'm using has this really nice shimmer to it so all i did was i traced those pieces that i had cut out at those score lines and then i just cut it out in my designer paper and then i just simply glued those designer paper onto my card base now i didn't leave any kind of border or anything around it i just simply wanted to cover this cardstock so you don't have to use a pretty cardstock for your um, base of the card so you could just use any kind and that's why i used a blue that i had in my stash so i did this for both sides and the front panel so i just simply now you could put it on foam square and and make it really fancy i didn't i just kept it pretty simple so i just glued those little designer papers onto the sides and to the center flap to finish this card off i really really wanted to use my uh, stamp set that i have it's called beautiful peacocks from uh, stampin up it was one of their celebration stamp sets that i absolutely love and i really wanted to use my versifying um, claire inks that i am in love with right now it creates such stunning they're, they're stunning colors and also such crisp 
images. So I just wanted to use that blue cardstock because I had a few, you know, extra laying around. And I stamped that peacock, one in a lighter purple and um, the face or the front of the, the peacock in a darker purple. So once I was done stamping, and I love stamping, I fussy cut that little peacock out. And then I wanted to have a little sentiment from the same stamp set. And the uh, sentiment says, today is all about you. I figured it would be a great birthday card or if you know someone's having a bad day you want to give them a card and lift them up I feel like it's perfect so for the little banner sentiment all I did was I glued on two of the parts uh, the uh, the front and the back like the sides actually one side and the other side so no glue on to the middle part of that sentiment and then I uh, glued that peacock feather uh, peacock actually onto that little center piece now you could uh, once again um, put some foam squares and lift that one up but I decided not to but that completes this card. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. It is so fun. I want to create so many of these. And you really kind of do let the designer paper do the work for you. So it's very simple. And I really hope you guys give it a try if you haven't already. Um, I really do enjoy, uh, enjoy doing these tutorials for you guys. I hope you enjoy it as well. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I will be having a really huge giveaway for when I reach 500 subscribers. And once that happens, you'll see all the cool things. And if you are a subscriber already, thank you. I so appreciate it. And make sure you hit that little uh, bell on your where it says subscribe so you get notified every time I do create a new video if you haven't already. Thank you guys. I really appreciate every single one of you. Until next time. Bye.